The best part of last season was our growth, I think. We were in the hunt for playoffs until pretty much the last game. Coming up short by only two points, we realized, hey, we did something special. We have even more to accomplish next season. We're going to continue to grow. We went through some growing pains, but all in all, I thought the fans really supported us through the entire year. We had some sellouts, the crowd grew. What makes it special being a Sabre, I think, is, is, is that connection with the community. I don't think you guys realize how much of an impact you have when we come to the game and see a sold-out crowd. Cross across, score! At KeyBank, the fans are loud. We play, we play our best hockey. We felt you guys last season. We felt that you guys are buying in with us. We missed the playoffs by one or two games, and we really learned that every game matters. So we're going to have a little bit of a different approach for this season. Ready and action. Hockey's going to love them. I think these are the jerseys that he uh, grew up watching them in, so. He might shed a tear. First day thinking of his, his childhood. Alex, when I say action, you're going to look right at the camera. And action. Oh, it's amazing. It's unbelievable. Looks awesome. Love it. Long Ranger runs to the big hit by Dolan. He feel evil in the jerseys. <laughs> I think the record can speak for itself. Whenever we wear those jerseys, uh, we were playing good hockey. As simple as that. The Sabres come back with a quick counter. Here's Tuck, plays it in. Thompson with a backhand, he scores! One thing I won't forget is uh, Tate's five goal uh, night in Columbus. Uh, that was very special. He was on fire. Scores his fourth of the game! Number five for Tate Thompson! That is unbelievable. <laughs> Tomer took a really big step in his game. Tomer just so electrifying. He's got unbelievable hands uh, for his size. He's just so so fun to watch. Obviously, I don't reach those individual goals without your teammates, and um, I think a big reason is the style of play that that we play as well. Um, I think just tailors towards uh, a lot of our game. What a feed and what a finish! Thompson to Skinner. Here's Skinner scores. Jeff Skinner's gonna nail 35 this year. Skinny's awesome, he's one of a kind. I love playing with that guy. Just the way he moves around guys and the plays he makes, you know, he's so smart out there. He's such an easy guy to play with and he's super competitive and hardworking. I think there's no better feeling when, when you see him score a goal. I think it lights up the whole building. Jeff Skinner has a very unique skill set that I don't think uh, many people understand how much he impacts the game. He's able to hold on to pucks and protect pucks using his stick, his feet, to create space and time for um, his line mates. And I was lucky enough to be his line mate throughout most of the year. Trying to get to the net, score! Skinner, Skinner, overtime winner! Yeah, Leroy, I think he, he comes in and, and, and fits in right away. His ability to read plays and um, react to plays was phenomenal. Seeing Levi come in right out of college, step in, make a big impact, just seeing what you know he's capable of and um, obviously probably only just scratching the surface. Tucky, I, I think, is the, uh, the complete package. He flies up and down the ice, he plays the game the right way. Super disruptive on the forecheck and really tough for teams to, to defend. He plays for the guy beside him and he plays for the fans. He's such a great two-way player. He, he does everything out there for us. Patrick Dylan Cousins! Cousins is awesome, uh, good friend and um, you know, great leader. I think that's someone you want on your team. He's got that grit factor to um, playoff style hockey. I thought he really came in and, and worked super hard at his own game. I think that's the passion that you know Buffalo fans love out of him. Here's a chance. Cousins shoots and scores. Dylan Cousins going to get his 30th on the season. I think for me personally, last year I, I hit some goals I wanted to and. Uh, I think I took a next step uh, offensive-wise. He ended up scoring over 30 goals, and I'm just super excited to see what the future holds for him. Cousins drops it back, top shoot, score! Yes! Rasmus Dolly, what a pass! His 
offensive ability from the blue line in. So deceptive, so skilled. He proved to the world that he's one of the best defenders. Sometimes you take it for granted because you see him every day. Um, you know, but some of the stuff he does is, is pretty incredible. There it is, NHL history for Rasmus Dahlin as he gets his fourth goal in four straight games to start the season. I feel like I took the next step. I know I'm not satisfied. I, uh, I want to get better and I'm excited for this season. Growing up a Sabres fan, uh, I was lucky enough to watch Ryan Miller each and every night make about a thousand saves a night. So to see him honored and his jersey raised up in the banners is something that I'll never forget. What made Ryan Miller night special is to see he's kind of a piece of history of the organization and um, sort of what he meant to the uh, to Buffalo. There is no team without the community fully behind the boys on the ice. And I love to play here because every time we were on the ice, it was meaningful. You know, it was just a great atmosphere in the rink and then cap it off with an overtime win. Let's see if we can get that extra point is what they're going to try to do here. Here's a lead pass. How the game ended and uh, also after the game we got to meet all the alumni and um, it was just a special night. Well, the job tonight, fellas. We're trying to write our own history here and tonight was about uh, honoring the past and it was very fitting that it was a bit of a goalie duel today. Ryan, thanks a lot for, uh, for letting us be a part of your special night. I know you already got a sword, but this is the one that means everything. So, there you go. <laughs> Boys, I, I'm really proud of you guys. That was a great effort. I was really impressed. I see a lot of the passion in this room. I've been around the room a little bit. I've been talking to the coaches and the staff. Like I go way back with a lot of these guys. You guys can get, make something special here, and that would make me really happy. And tonight, thank you for coming through with a big game. Like The effort was outstanding, and that was a big thrill for the crowd up there. And that's honestly, it felt good to step on the ice again and get like feel that energy. I mean, man, that is, it's, it's a hell of a feeling. And this community can give it to you. And you guys are a good team. Let's see what you got, okay? My favorite memory was, I think, the last game at home. Craig Anderson, just one of the storylines tonight. Will it be his final NHL game? We shall see. One of those times where there's a lot of emotions and it was uh, the last home game of the year. Darlene will leave it. Skinner on the ice now. He'll take it behind the net. Jeff Skinner on the far side. Darlene overlaps, leaves it in the corner. Middle stack. Holds it. Scores! Casey Middle stack. As the entire team comes down to congratulate Craig Anderson on what may very well be his final game in the National Hockey League. Look at this reception. And just to cap it off, Mitzi scoring a big goal on OT to, to finish the game. It's just a cool moment to be a part of. That is amazing. We learned that every, every shift matters, every game matters, and we got better at playing more of a um, playoff hockey. Rebound scores! Casey Middlestad! You know, we learned a lot about this group is just, you know, how we're never going to give up even when, you know, everyone thinks we're done. We're going to keep pushing. You know, when you get that close to something, you can you can feel it right at your fingertips and I think it just makes you that, that much hungrier just to be able to say that, you know, you're part of the group that helped turn things around, I think is something that's pretty unique and something special. We have such a 
such a great team, so many tools, so much depth. Um, you know, we're going to be a force in this league for years to come. Put the league on notice that we're someone to be reckoned with next year. Our expectations is to make playoffs, and I think once you make playoffs, anything can happen from there. I feel like we have all the pieces to become a, a winning team, and I can't be more excited than I am right now.